Carson and I actually had a visitor. We had his little cousin. She's a little over one years of age, my granddaughter. She's so precious. But she kept us busy, didn't she, Carson? Yep. She did. <laughs> and but we are going to go ahead and throw together dinner and what we're making is a ravioli casserole. So let's go ahead and get started. And first of all, I have two pounds of ground turkey here that I scrambled and I drained the fat off and I washed it. I do that. And you can use ground beef if you want to or ground turkey. And I'm going to pour this into a large bowl. This one. This one. So you'll need a 24 ounce jar of marinara pasta sauce. Go ahead and pour that in. The whole bottle. The whole thing. The whole thing. Half a cup of yellow onions diced. This is a half a cup of bell peppers diced. About one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. One teaspoon of oregano. All over. Now you'll need a 9 by 13 baking dish and go ahead and just oil that baking dish. Yep. I like to do that with a little olive oil. And you're going to wipe it real good. I'm going to wipe it real good. <laughs> now we're going to use one third of this. That's just a really thin layer like this. You'll need a 25 ounce bag of cheese ravioli. We're going to pour half of these raviolis over that mixture. Those are cold. They are, and they are frozen. Yeah. I'm gonna use half of what you've got left of the marinara mixture. Just lightly spread that on top. So Carson and I are gonna put one cup of this mozzarella cheese on that layer. There you go. Good job. He's doing great. Now we're going to use the other half of the cheese raviolis. You want to put that on there? Yep. Just pour it on there. Good job, Carson. And you may have to break some of these apart, but just kind of spread them out. We use the rest of the ground turkey and marinara mix and just put that right on top. We're going to top this with two cups of cheese. Okay, so I have another half a cup of cheese left in that bag and I'm just gonna throw it on there. The more the better. Sweet buckets of cheese. Sweet buckets of cheese. Make sure you have enough cheese to top it and cover it. Just like that. I'm gonna use some aluminum foil and I'm gonna make a tent because that aluminum foil will stick to that cheese if you're not careful. And I'm gonna put this in the oven and I'm gonna bake it for about 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna take this aluminum foil off and bake it for another 15 to 20 minutes. And we'll be back. And voila. I did let this cool down and Carson and I are gonna have some dinner. Right now. Yeah, we're gonna have some garlic bread with this. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm ready to dig in. Yeah. Grab your fork and eat. <laughs> Grab your fork and eat. This is good stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>